Jeff Bangeter here with Bangeter Financial Services with a tax tip to know the difference between taxable and non-taxable income. All income you receive is taxable unless the rules explicitly state that it isn't. According to the IRS, taxable income includes earned income like wages as well as any income earned by bartering or the exchange of property or services. Rental income is taxable as are other forms of unearned income like interest and dividends or social security. Some income is not taxable unless certain conditions are met. For example, life insurance proceeds are usually not taxable to the beneficiary unless you redeem a life insurance policy for cash. Any amounts that you receive above the cost of the policy is taxable. State and local income tax refunds may be taxable and should be reported on the federal tax return. There are also some forms of income that are usually not taxable, like gifts and inheritances, child support payments, welfare benefits, damage awards for physical injury or sickness, cash rebates from a dealer or manufacturer for an item you buy, reimbursements for qualified adoption expenses, this is not information to be used for your personal specific tax return. It's not specific tax advice. We suggest that you discuss your specific tax issues with a qualified tax professional. Now, several factors will affect the cost and availability of life insurance, including the age and the type and the amount of insurance purchased. And life insurance policies have expenses, including mortality and other charges. If a policy is surrendered prematurely, the policyholder also may pay surrender charges and have income tax implications. You should consider determining whether you are insurable before implementing a strategy involving life insurance. Any guarantees associated with a policy are dependent on the ability of the issuing insurance company to continue making claim payments. Now, this was adopted from the irs.gov website. Again, my name is Jeff Bangeter with Bangeter Financial Services, home of the fiscal bridging formula, signing off for now.